On average, rip currents take the lives of more than 100 people across the United States each year. In addition, they're responsible for 80% of all ocean rescues. That's over 70,000 per year. Rip currents are strong, narrow ocean currents that flow away from the shore at up to 8 feet per second, faster than an Olympic swimmer in a 50 meter race. They form as water from breaking waves at the coast flows back towards the ocean. Because they're fast moving and difficult to spot, they're one of the biggest risks that beachgoers face. Since rip currents can pose a significant risk to any swimmer, there are a number of steps that you can take to ensure your safety at the beach. Before heading to the beach, you can access the beach and surf forecast that NWS forecasters issue every day on our website. From here, you can see a breakdown of rip current risks across coastal Massachusetts and Rhode Island. To see a more detailed description of the area you're traveling to, just mess over that location. Once you're at the beach, it's important to always remember to swim with a trained lifeguard on duty. This ensures that someone's always available to act quickly in case of an emergency. It's also strongly recommended to swim with a buddy or in a group, as most drowning incidents involve lone swimmers. Finally, it's always important to observe conditions before entering the water, and remember, when in doubt, don't go out. Many beaches use a system of colored flags to signify the risk of rip currents, with each color representing a different level of risk. Be sure to look out for these. If you do get caught in a rip current, don't panic. Think of a rip current as a treadmill that won't stop. It's important not to fight against the current, as doing so may drain your energy and significantly increase your risk of drowning. Instead, remain calm and swim parallel to the shore. Once you're outside the current, swim back towards the shore diagonally and away from it so you do not encounter it again. If you're on the shore and you see that someone else is caught in a rip current, notify a lifeguard immediately or call 911 if one is not available. We hope that as you travel to the beaches this summer that you're able to keep yourself and the others with you safe with these tips. If you're looking to stay up to date with NWS Taunton, remember to follow us on Twitter and to like us on Facebook for news and updates from our office. As always, thanks for watching.